All right, hey everyone, my name is Simon Shapiro. I'm a program manager on the location intelligence team at Microsoft, and I'm here to talk about transit data coverage. So I just want to start with a question. Why is it so hard to change the subject when talking to a monorail conductor? It's because they have a one-track mind. <laughs> All right, that's the stand-up portion of this talk. Uh, so what is transit coverage? So let's first think about the problem we're trying to solve, and that's we want to help people get from A to B by public transit, whether that's bus or train or ferry. And so to do that, we need to provide directions. Uh, and so to do that, we need to get all the scheduled data, but there's tons of transit agencies across the country and across the world, depending on where your service is. And if you're a platform like Bing Maps, you need to get all of that data, so you call up all the different agencies uh, across the world and you get their feeds. And collecting all that data is hard because there's so many of these agencies, so we need to measure our progress on doing that, and that's what we call coverage. So if we're gonna think about measuring the coverage, we first have to understand what the data looks like, and so, uh, you know, if you're looking at a data format like GTFS, which is the most common standard, uh, each data feed has an agency, and each agency has routes, and each route has trips, and each trip has uh, stops associated with that trip, and those stops have times and locations. So the most naive way to look at measuring those stops is, uh, measuring the coverage is to just count the stops. The stops are a great proxy for the routes and so on. So, you know, you get a source of all the stops as your ground truth, so they're public national data sets from agencies like the National Department of Transportation. You ag aggregate the stops, you make sure to dedupe parent and child stops, so if you think of a station like Grand Central, there'll be lots of smaller stations inside. So you clean up that data, you count the stops that you have, you count the stops that the ground truth has, calculate the percentages, and you make a map. And when we look at the map that we have for the US doing this, it looks really good all the way on the right side, and it's a little small, but it's all green, so it seems like we're done. But are all stops created equal? Is Penn Station just as important as a stop in a halfway between Binghamton and Oneonta in upstate New York? Probably not, right? Because remember, our goal isn't to just calculate the number of stops, it's to get people from A to B. So the more people you can help, the better, and you should probably weight it accordingly. So the approach we've taken at Microsoft is we now look at trip coverage. So you want to actually weight each stop by a number of passenger trips going through it. And so we have found a source of data for that as well, uh, also from the Department of Transportation. And you sort of do something similar in that you take the data, you clean it up, and you map it. And when we look at the map this time, all of a sudden you see there are some holes in Montana, in Missouri, and a few other states. And we're not done. And for a while we thought we were done, we weren't. And so this is a sort of information that reveals that you actually have to go and get more data because there must be an important stop in Montana that we're missing that a lot of people are going through if one graph is green and the other uh, visualization is not. But on the other hand, there are some problems with the data that we really need to account for. The data is self-reported, and so there's gonna be inconsistencies, and the, uh, there's like a minimum re requirement for the number of vehicles you need uh, to be part of this data set. And so those are some of the problems we noticed with the data that I wanna talk about moving forward. So the thing I wanted to express beyond just, hey, this is a better way to look at the transit data and the coverage is how can we as a community do better and combine to actually figure out how many agencies there are and, and the data that's out there. Because in the end, the goal of any transit service is to help get users get from A to B. And so we can do that by improving the reliability of the coverage, verifying that these trips are correct in some sort of systematic way, and creating a more open communication platform for doing just that. Uh, and so that'll take collaboration between uh, in, you know, private companies and uh, public DOTs across different cities and governments to sort of coordinate that. And if you're one of those people, uh, especially if you work at the DOT, I'd love to talk to you more about that uh, and to help us keep the data fresh with some sort of quarterly or annual reports. And that's it, thank you.